Hey, what is going on guys and welcome back to another video on the My Stocks Journey channel. I know this is the second video today and I'm really excited, but this is kind of something that I wanted to talk about and I wanted to talk about two different things. So hey, why not give you guys two things to watch, two different looks on two different things. So today I wanted to talk about how could the death of Kim Jong-un affect the stock market. Now, there's a lot of speculation going around. No one really knows. Is he dead? Is he not? Has he passed away? No one really, not, like, it seems like not clear simply for the fact that North Korea hasn't officially announced it, but we know that North Korea can be a little wishy-washy sometimes. So no one really knows. But what I did want to talk about that if it is confirmed, how could this impact the stock market? And also how could it impact Bitcoin? So I'll start with the market. I do believe that it seems like as our relations have grown better, with North Korea that our relations with China have also tend to you know grow a little better and I do believe that if Kim Jong-un has passed and that our ten there you know maybe arises tension between us and North Korea somehow or something like that starts to happen that that could very well lead to even more tension with China and now we all know that tension with China is not really something that's been beneficial to us we get a lot of our distributions from China. We get a lot of our things from China. And the fact that if we were to have tension, maybe tariffs would come about. And, you know, I just don't personally believe it would be good for the overall market. But I don't think necessarily that, you know, it could be possible that some type of different regime rises up through North Korea. And, you know, maybe a dictatorship's not there as much. And all of North Korea is just turned around. You know what I'm saying? It's very possible. But do I believe that another dictator will eventually arise and that it'll kind of be the sort of the same stuff and we'll have to restart building our relationship? That I do. I think that's probably what would likely happen. Um, and in that case, I do think there's going to be a little bit of tension with China and that could definitely drive the market down a bit. But I don't think necessarily it would drive it down. Definitely is not as much as the coronavirus has. And I think since our society and our economy right now is so used to volatility that if the market does go down a little bit, it would it would recover from it. So I think that there's a chance that with all this that the market will plunge a little, not too much, um, but that may open up some options for buying low, selling high, if that's the type of person you are, I'm not personally. But <laughs> And so now I did want to talk about how this could potentially affect Bitcoin as well. So it was in the news uh, not that long ago that um, there were two um, hackers who would hack into crypto exchanges and kind of basically just hack and take Bitcoin and stuff like that. And it was announced in an article I read that North Korea had accumulated up to somewhere around $600 million in um, Bitcoin through like hacking crypto exchanges and stuff like that. And so with that being said, there was some speculation that it was a possibility that if Kim Jong-un was to die, that they would sell off their Bitcoin. And we know sell-offs typically lose, um, you know, cause a drop in price and stuff like that. But after a little bit of time goes by, a lot of um, some of like, you know, analysts were coming out and saying that they don't believe that there would be a massive sell-off. There is a possibility that they would sell some, which could cause a little bit of a spike in Bitcoin, like downwards. But we all know that Bitcoin is so volatile that it probably wouldn't even be noticeable in my opinion. But if there was a massive sell-off from North Korea, that could definitely be impactful considering they have $600 million worth of Bitcoin. Um, so that could definitely be something to watch out for to see if North Korea does begin to sell, sell, sell. Could be a good time to sell, but also it could be a time to look to buy in whenever you know they sold and you know it's starting to look a little down. So I definitely, I personally don't think they're gonna sell off. I, I don't think that would be the, the best move for them to make. So I don't think that they would just sell all of their Bitcoin and the $600 million worth that they have, meaning that I do think that Bitcoin is going to continue to go up um, over time. It's going to have its spike super volatile stock, or not even a stock, super volatile cryptocurrency. But um, yeah, so with that being said, I don't believe that the death of Kim Jong-un would, if he, is, if he has passed away, drop Bitcoin down a drastic amount. Definitely it could bring it down a little bit, but I don't think it'll be anything major at all. I hope you guys do like this type of video. It's definitely fun to just go and, you know, read up on articles and do some research and kind of fill it for my own opinion and then share it with people. You know, it's something that I've always loved to do. And so with that being said, you know, I do like to do my stock portfolio updates. It's something I'm super excited to continue doing over time. But it is also just, you know, a fun thing for me to do and something I'm sure that you guys might enjoy to watch to, you know, for me to just form my opinion and give it to you guys about what I think is going on in modern day stocks 
how I feel about Microsoft. Maybe I'll have something about Tesla coming soon and just stuff like that. If you did like that type of video, go ahead and drop a like for me and definitely let me know in the comment section. And if you are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.